this episode of Finno Greek Masining. Uh, uh, well, uh, I'm going to try to uh, get some order in my drills. <laughs> uh, namely, I acquired uh, uh, a lot of uh, reamers and uh, these made it so that now the reamers and the drills uh, won't fit in the same drawer. So uh, I will make an index. <laughs> uh, well, uh, out of this material and this material. Uh, yeah, that's what we are going to do this time. Okay, uh, this is the plank of wood. Uh, it's actually pine. Uh, uh, this is very cheap material in Finland and you get, uh, can get it uh, readily made in, uh, into this form. Uh, I, well, uh, yeah, uh, I decided to take the easy road here. So, uh, what I will do now is to drill a few holes. I already started. Uh, 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 this section is for most three. This section here is for MOS 2, and finally here, which I have not yet done, is MOS 1. And uh, first I will uh, drill uh, uh, small holes into that one, uh, so that you can access uh, the same hole from this side and underside. Uh, well, when I drill them in their actual size, I will do that so that I first drill them half away, from this side and how then uh, the rest from the underside. This makes it so that it doesn't break the surface. If I make it with a big drill, uh, it will break the underside otherwise. Uh, this is a uh, tree, uh, so wood, so it will split easily. Uh, well, and then uh, there will be legs made out of this material. Uh, they will be about this length and there will be 10 couple of legs here and there, so it will uh, stay uh, a little bit higher from the table. And I try to make it so that I can put uh, uh, <coughs> these boxes of uh, normal reels under there. So, yeah, uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, this is uh, same pine, it's quite stiff actually, it's su surprisingly stiff. So uh, when I put a suitable hole there and uh, push this in, it's actually 15 millimeters in diameter. Well, it's not entirely round, uh, but when I push it there with glue, it will stay there, uh, never comes out. Uh, so, yeah, so let's. Uh, do these 4 mm holes uh, into this region now as well. There is a pin here in the side. When you push it down like that, you can get this out very easy. <coughs> the Morse uh, 2, this is an uh, attachment for Morse, two, Morse 3 to Morse 2, and then I have the 15 mm drill here. Obviously, it's uh, not on suitable height at the moment. We need to lower this table down a little bit. About there. Uh, 
rem remember always to pull this out, otherwise this won't work. There you are. And as always, with these things you should uh, give a little hammer. <laughs> and this secures the Morse 2 uh, adapter in place. It doesn't now it doesn't drop from there. You could, could tighten it more. And then the speed should not be that kind of speed we had. This is too much. Maybe in the next gear. Let's see. That's too little. <laughs> well, I would like to... Let's see if I can choose a different gear. Oh yeah, okay. This might be it. <laughs> no, <laughs> this might not be it. Damn! This is hot. That might be the one. Yeah, that's the one. That's correct speed for this one. I don't want to use a lot of speed with this. Uh, yeah. And I think we are quite near the correct place. Do we have so that I can do this in one go? Well, the table is a little bit uh, low, actually. So I will rise it a little bit. Makes the whole task a little bit easier. About there. And then, my nice little support here. <laughs> this is uh, to keep it uh, level. And, uh, well, let's start in the corner that one. Let's uh, take one sample and uh, let's see how this uh, goes. And uh, this one I don't drill the whole way through. Just Taper and it's around in the half uh, halfway through the taper, so uh, I'll just stick them there. I don't know whether I can do some taper in these. I have these, but this is not uh, wide enough, so no way, no luck with that one. So let's uh, change the drill. And again, I can use this one to get. Oh, I cannot. Now. This had the locking mechanism, and I was really hasty about this. Not good. And now it's tight, <laughs> because I slammed it in. <coughs> well, let's slam it back like that. Now it should be loose. Yeah. This nut. Now. We can get rid of this, and then we need uh, this. There it is. And uh, the drill I'm going to use, where is it? <laughs> I had it in my hand. Uh, this is the one I'm going to use. It's a wood drill. And this goes just like that there. Yeah, we shall see how it is. 
I uh, make one first and uh, this one you might no you don't you need to you really need to and uh, now I want it to be quite this way let's start with that one well I want the table to be higher again like that there you go well let's make one uh, for starters here and to speed then this is I don't know well let's take a little bit slower let's try that I don't know and this will make a lot of uh, actually try to make this whole way through and see what happens on the other side. Because this oh this well that sound was not bad uh, good not good at all. Let's see how it looks. Yeah as you can see it rips off uh, the corners and uh, that's uh, exactly what I would uh, like to avoid. So, we need to set the depth and then uh, drill uh, two sides. And let's set the depth about there. Yeah. The speed, by the way, was very good. I need to proof of concept. <laughs> Let's see how this uh, works with more screen. Really well. Well, it's uh, oh yeah, it's exactly the correct size. Yeah, goes halfway, halfway through there. Yeah, good. And now I will uh, do the rest of the, these kind of things this side and then turn it around and do the other side. And try to avo avoid uh, things like this from happening. should be quite uh, good for that one. So this was uh, 15 but uh, 16 now. And uh, one uh, really good uh, thing about this uh, dr drill chuck is that it's easy to <laughs> change the bits. You don't need any force to do that. Uh, like that and there you are. Yeah. I will uh, try out uh, one hole Oh yeah, and the depth once again. Uh, it needs to be taken good care of. I don't want to drill uh, the whole way through. So I need to set it somewhere in between. A little bit longer first time and then uh, the second round. Uh, uh, I think it is there. And then just check that it's, it's there. 
Yeah. And then I drill one hole. So let's take that one. It looks like a good one. This big, oh, this hobbles quite a lot. Why? We had uh, some uh, bull in the tank. This pile goes away. Is there still there is still some. Yes, these are not high speed steel, these are ordinary. So you can actually find this material. Oh yeah, now it feels much better. Let's see. Yeah, and it looks much better as well. Yeah, it wobbled uh, like crazy. So let's see. First hole. This thing is in English, but you have uh, this thing that's really hard, actually. And if I don't uh, drill it from both sides, uh, that will uh, can uh, crack off uh, entirely. There you are. Smells uh, also <laughs> like pie. Side. Let's take a more two taper thing. Oh yeah, it's really good actually. Yeah, goes there and uh, doesn't go farther than that. That's okay, I believe. So then we have more room under here. millimeters it will be. Now just uh, repeat this uh, like uh, uh, quite many times. these uh, uh, 16 millimeter holes is that uh, well the counterpore from the other side was not always concentric and therefore some of uh, when I put the drill here it uh, doesn't uh, sit straight <laughs> uh, I want them to sit straight really so <clears throat> and there are something like uh, one millimeter uh, deviations here and there uh, no not one millimeter half a millimeter so what I will do now is to run a 16 millimeter reamer <laughs> through these holes. Well, uh, this is probably the first time somebody is uh, reaming uh, a wood block. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, that will uh, take care of that uh, deviation and uh, 
Well, of course, after this, uh, this side becomes the top side. And yeah, okay. Well, it was the same row with that one. Okay. And this can be hard. Okay. And the last one. Okay. And now I will actually do the... Well, I believe this became our top side then. Uh, well, no. Uh, it really doesn't uh, show out. Wood is very forgiving. And then uh, we need a 15 millimeter streamer. section it will be 11 millimeter holes and uh, therefore I have uh, this uh, 11 uh, millimeter drill which uh, at some point of time in Finland costed uh, 21 marks before the euro time and this is like brand new in brand new package and it's, uh, I don't want to use Let's see now, it's a, uh, well, there you are, brand new grip. Then we have to get rid of this, put this in. Oh, is it here? Oh, no, no, no. Now it's in. Yeah. Aha, okay, this is a no, no go, another chuck, please, a little bit bigger, there you are, let's see now, if this one can accommodate it. Yeah, it does. This is not as easy as that room. And the speed then... Well, we need to take a little bit more. Mm, maybe that one. Let's see. I... Again, but this time I will uh, drill it uh, right through. I don't uh, drill this, uh, and this is the correct side, yeah. So I will drill it right through and see what happens, because I believe this can be done. So... Yeah, it's really sharp, <laughs> so it goes right through. Yeah, and doesn't uh, mark too much on the back side either. So, let's see how it fits with uh, Morse 1. Perfect! Okay, we'll do that a few more times. They seem like uh, really flimsy, but uh, remember we have 10 of these under this one, so probably they are good enough. Time will tell. So the way I'm going to do this is that I push it uh, from under here. This is the top side now. 
just a tiny bit so that it's uh, blocking the hole and then I will take my blue if it now comes out from there <laughs> as always it's blocked some uh, glue, wood glue and now I just uh, squirt oh, tiny, oh, tiny amount a uh, little bit too much, it's quite uh, oh yeah and then I rotate it here in the hole so it uh, spreads everywhere and push it up while rotating and at, and at some point I get it uh, a little bit proud here like that and I, then I need to wipe the excess away this glue we don't need here yeah first leg done Next, and believe me, it will stay there once it's. Uh, these are pretty tight uh, already, as you can hear. I'm a little bit afraid they could probably break the wood, so hopefully not. Okay, some rotation here. And get the glue everywhere and then push it up. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. Now just eight more of these. The next step uh, is to sand it a little bit, uh, so that, uh, uh, well, I'm using this device, <laughs> it's an uh, eccentric sander, and uh, this is 40 grit uh, paper, uh, so it will uh, give me a quite rough surface. And this is intentional, because now when it's rough, it will uh, soak uh, the polyurethane uh, which I'm going to apply next. And why I'm going to soak it uh, is because uh, this, is, uh, this wood is really porous. And uh, well, it's better it's soaking the polyurethane than it's soaking oil. <laughs> That's the reason. Uh, so, well, uh, maybe it stays a little bit longer uh, beautiful. Uh, with uh, polyurethane and uh, this one is uh, well uh, I'm not going to have a, a nice surface finish in this one well uh, because uh, there is no need for that what we need is uh, really a surface that doesn't soak oil so this one uh, should to my knowledge take care of that and I'm just going to rub it in. Uh, I'm not going to paint uh, with brush or anything. And I hope this doesn't leave a lot of hair here. Well, it does, but uh, it actually doesn't matter. Then we have a, a hairy, <laughs> hairy thing in hands. So just rub it in like this. Well. Okay, there you are. Oh, there are shiny spots. Ow! Okay, no shiny spots. Good. And get rid of these. No, not before I close this. And for your information, when you open these, uh, don't hammer them in. That's uh, when you open this. Don't hammer it in. It, uh, if you have closed it pro properly the last time, it will, uh, and when you open it, open it carefully, uh, so that you don't deform the lid. 
So after that, this uh, stays forever uh, in a good condition. And yeah, okay. Now I can take this off. Yeah. So, uh, how did it end up? I would say uh, very well. Uh, it's now there. <laughs> and uh, well, uh, the drills are and reamers are now organized. <laughs> uh, better than uh, being in the drawer, uh, just laying there. Uh, easier to find one when uh, needed. Uh, well, uh, this is not an index because it uh, doesn't have uh, any numbers on it. It's just a place to hold your drills. <laughs> That's it. And uh, yeah, so uh, in the next episode of Finno Greek Machining, we are really going to do the uh, heat exchanger for the Stirling engine. Uh, well, till then, bye!